All right, your U.S. Army light wheel, wheel vehicle mechanic, Moss 63B, skill level three, course wheel vehicle electrical park uh, electrical systems part two, sub course number is OD 1003. All right, um, lesson one, generation system. Lesson two, cranking system. Lesson three, ignition system. Lesson four, accessory system. Then the table of contents. Administrative content, grading certification. All right, lesson one, generating systems. All right, describe the principles of AC, DC generator, regulators, give information, principle construction, operation, DC generators, alternator charging system. Reference number TM9-8000, learning event. Describe the principles of construction and operation of the DC charging system, introduction of the two generators. Periodically, we should um, hear about the countries that are suffering through the drought. Do not lack of the rain or snow. The water is likely to reduce to the point that people no longer have the amount of water needed. The electrical system of the wheel vehicle can be compared to the situation above the batteries or heat of the uh, heart of the electrical system. The containment of the drain of batteries from the useful light start, motor, horn, heater, and so forth will soon cause the reach of the point of discharge where there can be no longer furnished amount of electrical power needed. Wheel vehicles contain generation system for the key of the battery for the proper operating unit of the system of the battery for the job that have to do. Um, the generators in conjunction with the batteries produced for the electrical current needed to operate with the electri all electrical components of the vehicle. A generator electrical magnetic device for the change of the mechanical energy from the engine into the electrical energy. Automotive generator restore the battery with the current when used to crank the engine recharge of the battery. Also supply with the current with the electrical load lights of the ignition radio set forth. Most generators are mounted with the engine block in such a way that the engine fan belts and drives of the generator. Direct power generator principle. The previous uh, lesson for the magnetism of the learn. Um, what, when a conductor wire is moved through a magnetic field coil, the flow of the conductor, the two ends of the conductor are connected with the complete the circuit of the current, continue with the flow in the same direction as long as the conductor moves down. Um, the current change of the direction of the flow of the conductor is moved upward. This, in fact, is sometimes called the magnetic induction becomes the legs. Because electricity induced for the magnetism to take the magnetic induction, we have three things about, three things. Magnetic field, the conductor, complete circuit, and a motion of the movement between the magnetic field and the conductor. And it shows a figure one shows a single suit, single sing, uh, simple single loop generation, single a single loop of the generation turned with the magnetic field with the between the north and south pole of the magnetic. Therefore, an electric pressure indicated with the built up of the two sides of the loop. However, the loop is turned one side um, goes up and down, the other goes down because of the two sides of the conductor magnetic field that are in the opposite direction inducting induced current will flow the opposite direction. In other words, the current is alternating in the loop. Um, when two ends of the tank of the current will do only with a move and circulate with the loop of the wire. If we want to cut, it, cut current out of the loop and the pass it through the electronic circuit, what can we do with the in, um, cutting in the end of the loop with the connecting part of the metal ring with each end of the loop? The loop is rotated potential will be placed with each part of the metal ring as shown in figure item 1 and 2 in the figure with these parts of the ring with the called segment that these two segments are part called their accumulators. Now let's use add two brushes to pick up the return of the current of the communicator of the atoms of three and four of the figure. Um, they kept in contact with the communicator spring with the circuit can be completed between the two brushes uh, through the external circuit of the load. Continue will continue flow with the loop of the position straight up and down between the magnet. At this time the loop will be cutting off the no lines of force and so the current flow stops. During one revolution of the loop there will be two poles of the current with the external source of the, with the same direction caused by the direct current because it always flows in one direction through the load. The current voltage output of the generator would vary low with the cover of the air. Three things with the determine of the generator's output of the number of the wires, the cutting of the magnetic field with the speed in which they move through the magnetic field with the strength of the magnetic field and increase with any of the all the result of the increase of the generator output. Let's see what happens when we add another loop. All right, two, the multiple loop generator. In the figure show the two loops of the wire with the magnetic field, but also two segments have been added into the communicator. The loops are now our turn. We will get a full four pulsation of the current instead of two. In generation with the one loop of the generator, one start with a zero of the build up of the maximum, the drop back of the zero and a half of the turn of the loop. The two loops are used. One loop is up and down position, producing a no current, but the other loop is producing a maximum current addition with the getting of the four pulsation current per revolution voltage drop, not drop, not does not drop to zero. All right, this shows the shunt wound generator. Starting at the field field terminal field mounting um, bracket, then your uh, sealed ball bearings, pulley, fan, driver and head, brake um, pole shoe, uh, armature, field coil, cover band, throw throw belt, communicator, um, sealed ball bearing, brush arm, communicator, end hood, and brush, armature, armature coil, armature term terminal, and field terminal. 
Our construction, the actual governor will you will be working with you for the several loops instead of one. Each loop of the can for the several terms of wire loops are wound around an iron cord attached to the segment of the link up with the communicator the communicator iron cord windings are mounted on a shaft. The assembly is called an armature. Instead of permanent magnets, the generated electromagnets made up of the coil of the wire filled cab uh, coil wrapped around with the iron cord of the pole shoes. Pole shoes are secured to the inside of the generator housing field frame by screws, and one end of the field coil is grounded with the housing, and the other through the housing of the field terminal. Which generator is assembled with the armature for the place inside of the housing um, between the pole shoe for the driver end of the hybrid cover? It's mounted one end of the housing, the driver head of the support with the one end of the armature for the communicator end head cover goes on the other end of the housing support with the other end of the un- armature. Also serve the mount of the brushes, one brush is ground with the communicator end with the other brush for the connection with the by the wire of the armature and terminal with the generator brush. Gener- sorry, generator housing. On waterproof generators, both terminals are enclosed in waterproof outlet. Operation. Several things are needed to type of generator they operating properly. One thing you must have in the magnetic field of the previous things you've learned with the iron soft iron could be magnetized when the magnetizing force soft iron could quickly lose its um most of its magnetism. Notice that we said most of the magnetism magnetism force soft iron will retain a slight amount of the magnetism. This is called residual magnetism. Let's say you now um say for now the pole shoes do not contain residual magnetism. Now let's see what it takes for the place of the generator and put in operation. Armature for the term of the armature core will cover the mat will weak magnetic field to produce the residual magnetism retained in pole shoes. This sets up the small voltage one to one and a one and a half volts across the brush of the bench makes the particular case of the upper brush positive, lower brush negative. Voltage enough to cause a small amount of the current to flow with the negative brush through the field winding of the pole shoe with the flow of the terminal po- through the external outside of the circuit with the breakthrough of the armature terminal and the positive brush to the armature when in part of the circuit uh, current is picked up by the brush of this set through the field windings of the generator is said to be a shunt parallel wound. All military vehicles, vehicles, DC generators are shunt wound. All right, this shows your shunt wound generator. Um, shield shunt wound field winding, accumulator, brush armature cold field pole, um, brush armature frame, generator terminals. Are the small amount of the current produced by the residual magnetism flow through the field winding that will increase the magnetic strength of the pole of the shoes. Turn over the increase of the magnetic field of the armature for the sense of the armature. Now that we'll be cutting more lines of the force per of the turn. The voltage across the brush will increase the increase of the brush voltage with the increase of the field strength with which in turn the increase of the armature output of the armature voltage help the field. Field help the armature of the process of the call building up the generator voltage continue with the until the reach generator reach with the normal operating voltage. Control the direct current generator the need of the key of the under the control regulator the key of the boom building up the too much voltage current with the regulation from the generator will continue to increase the output of the speed increase that after a short time it will produce so much current that it will overheat with the turn off. That generator that produced the too much current with the voltage damage itself and then the battery it Char- it is charging any other electrical equipment on the equipment of the several ways to regulate DC generator output. Most common way on the wheel vehicle is to regulate the generator field current by using the generator regulator. Alright, this shows a uh, ver- vibrating voltage ge- um, regulator. Cover, terminal box, voltage regulator assembly, base, com- current regulator assembly. Show the um, show the two ammeter series winding, shunt winding, circuit breaker, current regulator, um, shunt winding, voltage regulator winding, forward field current, reverse winding, wi- volt winding, series winding, resistor, and generator. All right, to complete the generator regulator, the three job of the generator is not to have the disconnect of the battery of the generator by you, but the circuit breaker with the end of the generator with the reducing current or is rated above the um, output through the current regulator with the U of the regulator voltage regulator to protect the battery with the electronic component to keep the voltage from going beyond safe limit. The generator regulator we're, ge- we're going to discuss the, as contains three units. The units is also called the current relay, reverse current relay, acts for the automatic switch that can with the circuit with the generator and the battery which generator is charging and opens for the circuit when it is not uh, hot when it is not. The last action prevents the battery from discharging through the generator when the generator is not charging. All right, vibrating jet point regulator circuit show the armature with the ground regulator circuit with the ground turn through the frame, the generator spring with the field terminal with the resistance unit through the regulator contact points, um, current regulator for heavy winding, circuit breaker voltage, uh, soft iron core voltage coil shunt winding, um, ground current coil and winding, connection ignition lights and ammeter. 
Your current regulator, the unit preventing the regenerator from destroying itself, delivering too much current. Do you control the current with the uh, output of the generator with the current regulator? Control the amount of the current going through the fields by adding resistance to the, to the field widening. The current of the output of the generator starts with the gut too high, but the current regulators put the resistance into the field circuit. This resistance may put in take out of the generator field circuit that is made 200 times a second. The result of the average of the resistance will come limit the current to a safe value, which will keep the generator from destroying itself. Figure 7 shows the voltage regulator certificate. Arm Armature turn over the regulator to the ground circuit through the frame of the generator. The spring regulator contact points field thermal relay. Sustained unit voltage for fine winding field. Um, voltage shunt field shunt winding. Circuit breaker current coil series winding ignition to ignition limited ammeters. Voltage regulator. The unit will operate with the light, um, like a current regulator, except with the series of the voltage instead of the current with the limits of the generator voltage of the safe value of the particular battery and other electrical components from high voltage, um, from high voltage high enough to damage them. This current charging system and inspection ammeter battery with the indicator uh, is an indicator connected with the generator roll regulated by the battery and amount of the instrumental panel of the, of the vehicle. To give the um, way of the checking action of the generator and current flow of the generator through the ammeter through the battery when the engine is running, go up the ammeter pointer to move the positive or charge direction. If the engine is not running but the lights are on, the pointer will move the negative or discharge the direction. Use the ammeter to check with the generating system can be um, great and help with both the operator and the repairman. Any indication of the constant high charge discharge has been taken care of at once. Most military vehicles use the battery indicator instead of the ammeter. The indicator is really the voltmeter of the color code scale instead of the number scale with a different pointer. Ten ports of the can be indicated with the condition of the battery, the whether or not the generator has been doing its job. The battery themselves also have the good indicators of what the charging is done. But if the battery um, must be charged, the opposite of the outside of the source of the car, current or battery charger output of the vehicle generator is probably too low. On the other hand, the water is battery with the electrolyte with a constant boiling away. The generator voltage output is probably too high. When the engine or output is too high, I always check with the driver fan belts. Rippling belts will call low output. Driver belts are not only things that the charging system should be inspected. Look for the missing and loose of the generator mounting bolts, loose and damage. Cable connections correct. Any faults noted within the test charging system. Learning event number two. Describe the principles of construction operation of the AC charging system. Introduction to alternators. Most military vehicles are not equipped to, um, with AC charging system. The reason for the charging, um, changing of the AC system and the alternator is capable of producing higher voltage at idle speeds. Where the DC generator produces very little idle speeds, many military vehicles are equipped with a variety of firing devices, other high current drawing equipment. With this equipment, this operation for the vehicle's um, engine with the LRPM DC generator will produce the required current. Voltage keep the batteries current charged and supply with the current required to operate with the accessory properly. The basic alternator show that the number two terminal, number one terminal, bat battery terminal, and fan, brush assembly, slip rings, spring, seals, um, rectifier, bridge, stator assembly, rotor, pulley, fan, bearing, and drive frame, slipping frame, brush assembly. Are your construction. The alternators come over the basic parts of the DC generator of the field that is called the rotor and generator that is known as the stator. The purpose of the alternator produced the large power of the operative of the wire speed range than the generator. Because of this, if this construction functional uh, parts of it is different, the stator of the section of the which of the current is and it is made with a slotted laminated ring with its conductor places. Slots for the current will generate the winding transfer of the rest of the system through the three stationary terminals. Your rectifier bridge. AC generator produced with the alternating current with the output of the unacceptable the automotive with the electrical system. Uh, the AC generator is fitted with the rectifier bridge to convert the output to the DC. If the two output the wires of the basic AC circuit are each affected with the silicone diode, all electrical alternating current would be given the one direction to be changed with the direction uh, to, to change the direct current. To so change correct direction with the diodes, uh, they all got um, current flow toward the alternator. One wire positive away from the alternator with the other wire negative. Because um, most military wheel vehicles are Alternator three output phase or three phase data. The rectifier bridge will consist of the six diodes, three positive, three negative terminal. Um, these diodes will connect with the way they combine with the three AC outputs of the alternating into a DC output. One DC output. The automotive alternator, the basic alternator. The basic alternator consists of one winding, winding or loop of the in the stator of the single pair of the loops of the rotor of the rotor of the machine with the turn in the 360 degrees will induce a single cycle AC just as the simple generator armature did. Rotor. The rotor has two pole pieces of the sandwich in the field winding of the shaft. Each pole piece has a finger-like projection the way the rotor is assembled with the projection of the interlocking 
working with each other. Pole piece from north and south of the magnetic pole of the core of the rotor. Ten hands and axle wand and field winding with the made with the van varnish insulated copper wire. Each end of the field winding is connected with the individual slip ring. Your stator design. The stator has three separate winding with the produce of the separate three separate alternating current that's known as the three phase output. Each winding of the form of loops over the space and interval that on the frame. These windings are arranged over the offset. Each of the, the three windings are all tied together at one end of the form, um, one end to form what is known as a Y winding stator. The um, figure nine shows the rotor stator relationship with the north rotator, north pole, rotator, south pole, um, stator coil, stator coil piece. Rotor, rotor to stator relationship. The rotor synchronized with the stator with the north pole projection from the line with the other loops of the one phase winding and the other north pole projection with the also line with the other loops of the phase winding. Sequence of alignment over the rotor projection with the necessary for the operation. One phase winding it was being acted on by the negative pole projection with the one loop of the positive pole projection at another loop and the two loops would connect and conceal each other there out of the no current would be generated. Are your current alternator designs show that the field terminal connector has some of the negative silicone rectifier with the mounting brush and bushing and the ba battery terminal supervises the um, silicone rectifier diode rectifiers. Um, and then shows over here show the from the 12 o'clock rotor plate rotor um, throw brush holder brush holder assembly throw bolts br rotor poles. Uh, aluminum field winding, uh, grease reserve reservoir, bail ball bearing, pulley van, drive gear, end frame bearing, re re um, re retaining house, three phase stator winding assembly, bearing clamp, bearing ball bearing, bearing cover plate, gre grease for reservoir, slip rings. Are your wound pole alternator? Alternate pole, alternating polarity occurred for the successful pole excision current with the obtained with the slip ring with advantage of the wound pole alternator's wide speed range. Oh, output with the current windings are stationary. The slip rings can carry low field excision current. Disadvantages are that the brushes slip and the rings wear effectively contamination produced for the contamination carbon dust makes the voltage dim modulation. Um, may cause voltage modulation not reliable to high temperature, high altitude, to high speed application. Brush arcs or explosion and power hazard uh, and full um, fuel oil cannot be used safely on, as a coolant. Rotor winding hard is, is cold, relatively unreliable, high speed or rough driving application on the cause of the draft rotor windings insulation. Wind pole alternating extensive hi um, history of development best suited with low speed application limited range environments. Your Landel, Lundell alternator. The Lundell rotor develops the field with the placing of the excision winding with the axis rotor with this resolving in each end of the shaft assembling with the polar to compile through each end of the inner space with the finger of the form opposite so polarity is providing alternate fuel will then rotate the field excitation and achieve with the slip ring conduction advantage of the low and rotator rotor is the simple rotating winding construction stationary output current windings disadvantage of the winding air resistance losses use of the slip rings and brushes all right this shows your um london road london inductor all right, pole body, pole body magnetic um, spoke, pole body magnetic pole. Stationary field coils, um, simple efficient bobbin type windings, on and off, iron core, solid m metal rotor, often in rotating part, and conventional stator construction. Uh, unique optimizing waveform. All right, your Lundell indicator. The generator type of the difference of the previously described in the Lundell type of the rotor contained with no winding of the excision and due to the rotor pole of the station or field cold located at the end of the rotor with the result of the elimination slip of the ring rotating winding with the farther advance and it just can be damn causing non-magnetic material around the pole finger with providing the smooth, uh, smooth rotor of the low winding loss with the high speed capability and inherent design requirement of this station or field arrangement inclusion with the auxiliary air gap of the magnetic circuit of this it requires greater field current with excision. A Lundell inductor is several advantages that there is no Contamination problems, slip ring, slip ring wear, and other unit um, inherently explosion proof of the rotor can be solved with a permanently based. All of the windings are stationary and readily accessible with the cooling. Low rotor pat motor masses produce the bearing loads of the permit per rapid acceleration, bearing the center to center distance of the minimum of the limiting slip rings. This is combined with large shaft diameters permitted to high speed operation field windings or sm simple bobbin winding coils permitting with a short ma ma mean and return length. Only disadvantage is extra air gaps over the magnetic circuit require increased excision power. And then it shows your picture of an inductor alternator. <gasps> your flux path field pa panel starter, stator um, coil piece, stator coil, rotor teeth. Then a wired diagram of the positive and the negative and then um, the stator coils with their field, and field coil ignition switch, voltage adjuster with a rheostat and then um, rectifiers
Alright, your inductor alternator. Uh, inductor alternator employed with a fix for the non rotating field with the engine for the excitation of the central portion of the rotor with an, if, if it were a solenoid. Each end of the rotor assumed with a polarity multi lobed segment and they attach to each end of the rotor. The segment varies with the reluctancy in a magnetic circle that rotates as a result of the field state of experience of vibration magnetic strain with a coupling will produce the resulting output voltage of the stair coil. In contrast with the other type of the generator, the iron does not express with the um, experience of flux reversal. Consequently, there is only 50% of the use of the iron in the stator. Advantage of the inductor um, alternator is our easier winding and construction field stator coils, simplified cooling brushless, and has integral solid rotor without windings that permits high speed operation. Disadvantage inductor alternator are less than 50% of the use of iron, resulting heavier unit, increased total air gap magnetic current. Circuit requires more excitation. Figure 13 shows an air cooled generator. In tank automotive application, air cooling is most common to method the usual arrangement of the consisting of fan force of the air for the alternate cause cool rotor and stator rectifier. The major advantage of air cooling of the generator with the cooling self contained with the drawing of the air in the environment, however, the power and the requirements have become so excessive with high speed because of the fan design that usually structure to provide the sufficient cooling with the low speed with the corresponding with the rated output. Fan power high speed with the appear with the several um sphere reduction with the general generator efficiency. Any other factor in life of the filter for the cooling air with can deliver the brace particle with the water other substance within the grand generator interior. Furthermore, rotor and stator design must permit unrestricted passage of the end through the generator. This can be accomplished with the designing um, passage through the rotor and stator threat over the hour of the roughness of the surface of the rotor contribute to the winding laws finding further affecting unit efficiency. Figure 14 shows the AC-DC regulator comparison. AC generator re regulator, DC generator regulator. Regulation AC generator output. There's just important that the regulation DC generator output is much more simple for the following reasons. The AC generator because of the rectifier bridge will all not allow the current to flow back into the during the shutdown. This eliminates the need for the cutout relay of the AC generator with limits of the current automatic regulating the voltage of the current regulator. Therefore, we'll need to use the voltage regulator. All right, because of the current relay, um, the current relay regulator is not necessarily the AC generator voltage regulator contains only voltage regulation. Equipment illustration show the typical single element voltage regulator AC regulator and for comparison with the three element voltage regulator for the DC generator. All right, your vibrating point generator show the vibrating point generator circuit with the battery ammeter joint mission block, the switch, battery ignition, and jet. Um, regulator and voltage generator good to the voltage and ground and three way winding three rectifier bridge battery. Are right, describing the vibrating voltage the vibrating point of the voltage regular single element limited to the system voltage consider the double set of the contact points that operate with the magnetic coil center contact station connected directly generated field with the upper lower contact with the points of the pulley downward with the magnetic coil against the foil of the force of the spring the upper and lower contacts always maintain the same distance from each other the upper contact is shunted directly to the ground lower contacts over the barrier of the voltage does the operating of the coil with the resistor is connected from the barrier to the field connection operation lower contact with the normally connected with the center of the contact because of the spring tension the edge of the magnetic coil is energized out of the movement of the upper and lower contact with the discount of the center of the lower contact so as the move further upper contact move the connection with the center contact as the operating begin with the center contact is connected with the lower contact sending the full battery of the voltage of the field winding will cover the alternator to produce the full output as the alternator raised system generate and voltage of the force exerted with the magnetic coil increase the upper lower contact of the move which in turn breaks the caution in action between the center of the lower contact with the field of the receiver the result will reduce voltage with the resistor Causing corresponding response reduction, alternating output with the result of lower system voltage decrease with the magnetic coil force, all allowing the low lower and center points to come together and again. This is constantly repeating cycle of the name times the second with the serve of the limited electrical system voltage, magnetic coil force, spring tension are calibrated to maintain the desired voltage. This is used approximately thirteen point two to thirteen point eight volt in commercial vehicles. During period of light or electrical lows, particularly with the high speed of the system voltage may go to high even the re reduced field of the voltage from the resistor which have the magnetic coil will pull the upper contact into the connection with the center contact will show the flow of current but the ground causes the alternator to produce the current. Our figure 16 shows the transistor transistorized voltage regulator so the voltage regulator transistor out and transistor output with the field relay ignition switch ammeter battery diode accelerator shunt spring alternator rectifiers and stator and field. Operation regulator operates essentially with the uh, same with the vibrating point regulator the gauge difference with the constant with the carrying of the current with the trigger of the transistor based on the single with the current with the points of the transistor will control care of the field circle with the range of this configuration create with the contact point because of the single current with the transistor low with the color of the very light little arcing. 
Solid state voltage regulator, battery ammeter, uh, variable lo rated loads, lighting radio with a ground, uh, junction block, ignition switch, indicator lamp, field relay, indicator lamp, relay, indicator lamp, battery, rectifier, stator, self-reacting, alternator, field, end ground, fuse 1, uh, F1 and F2 position, transistor 1, transistor 2, rectifiers uh, through 10, diodes, capacitator. All right, your uh, regulator static with a total electronic operator for the configuration. Contact point for the replay with the Zernier diode. The Zernier diode produces a signal to the base of the transistor. Whenever the electrical system voltage reads the desired level, the signal will reduce the shut off of the field current with the reduce the stop of the alternator output. The system voltage drops again with the transistor. Um, again, will allow the alternating output of the cycle will repeat at least 2,000 times per second with the the application rheostat with adjusting the resistance of the field current with the regulating with the alternator output. Solid state regulator virtually as replay with the mechanical units of all current with the producing um, produced equipment to do with the external reliability manufacturer cough with the solid state components. Another desirable feature of solid state regulator is that it can be made small enough to build into the the alternator and it shows your practice exercises and answers and we're moving on to lesson two cranking systems